One two punch, 12 hard body boxers vie for that title. Extra goes inside the ropes on the new Fox reality series, The Next Great Champ, hosted by eight time world champion Oscar De La Hoya. Each week, one fighter will be knocked out, and the last man standing wins the prize. And De La Hoya tells Extra the lord of this ring will win it the hard way. This is real. This is real. This is, this is not Hollywood. And that's today's Remote Patrol. They're 12 rising boxers pitted against each other in the fight of their lives. Now, eight-time world champ Oscar De La Hoya will lead them into battle. He's won more world championship belts than any current fighter and over $200 million as he continues to fight for championship belts. Oscar De La Hoya wants to give that opportunity to others. For the first time ever, 12 of the best unknown boxers will fight for their last chance to become the next great champ. Each week, two boxers will fight. The loser goes home. The winner is one step closer to $700,000, a pro boxing contract, and a real WBO title fight. Each boxer has brought a loved one to be in their corner, like Gilbert Zaragoza, the ex-con, desperately looking for redemption. I got into a couple of fights. They sent me to prison. <laughs> He knows how much he hurt this family. Otis Griffin, the prison guard fighting for his fallen brother. My brother's memory is always with me, day in and day out. David Pereja, the pretty boy with a chip on his shoulder. I may not be from the ghetto, but just because a guy's big, black, and ugly doesn't mean he can fight. Mike Vallejo, the golden glove champ fighting for love. We've been through hell and back. When am I gonna marry her? Wow, that's the, that's the question. One of these boxers will become the next great champ, but first, the hell. If you got something to say to me, say it to me like a Otis. We can spar at any time. One of us needs to leave the wall. You wanna turn little girl? Go get your panties, get the hell out of here. How does it feel to be so weak? Hey, just give me motivation to get in there and be You don't win, you're going home. I need to know if you're ready for this. I will stop the I swear to God. I see you can do it! That's why I'm going to give it my all out there tonight. You know why you suck? Because you're not getting it 100%. So what, are you friends with me? I'm going to be straight up. I don't trust any one of you in here, and I don't want to be friends with anybody. Who is fighting for love? Who is fighting for glory? And who will become the next great champ? you think the fear is coming from it because Next great champ. Welcome to Los Angeles, the city of dreams. You were chosen to see if you have the discipline, the desire, the dedication to become the next great champ. When I walked out on that roof and saw Oscar, I knew right then 
Reality was setting in. And it can't get any better with this, hanging with Oscar De La Hoya. So, you know, I'm knocking on the door of greatness. Every one of you brought a significant other, the most important person in your life. Whether he wins, whether he loses, it doesn't matter. I'm with him to the end. I love my brother so much. If I have to manipulate the system, I will manipulate the system. You're fighting for your dreams. A contract with Golden Boy Promotion, over three quarters of a million dollars, and a shot at a world championship title. Don't blow it, because training begins right now. My name is Jimmy Mintz. I sell cars, breed pit bulls, but my real profession is professional boxing. I lived in a bad neighborhood. You know, they had crackheads all around. My dad's running off of women, ends up going to jail. And my child died in the ring. It's like a dream. You don't really prepare yourself for things like that. This is Rene Armijo, my father. When I was little, we'd box. Some fathers sons, and we'd do I didn't want to be a doctor. I didn't want to be a lawyer. I want to be a fighter. I'm looking to crack ribs. I'm looking to break noses. I will get pleasure from his pain. When we first got to the actual gym, we didn't know what to expect. When I first walked up to the gym and I saw Tommy Brooks and Lou Duva, I was mesmerized. Lou Duva and Tommy Brooks, these people are the best in the game. It's like learning from the Jedi Master. If you want to be a champion, you have to train like a champion. We're going to put you through some intense training exercises, physical and mental challenges that'll push all of you to your limits. Each week, you will be ranked on that board behind me. The lowest ranked boxer will challenge one of the top three ranked in an elimination bout. Our top three ranked boxers will also be fighting for big, big money, $25,000. I'm looking to get ranked in the top three, that way I can fight for $25,000. That's my immediate goal right now. So guys, it's simple. Each week, the lowest ranked boxer challenges one of the top three ranked guys in an elimination bout. If you're ranked at the bottom, that's not where you want to be. You're going to fight for survival, and you're fighting for free. And who wants to fight for free? Every boxer must fight to advance. So you might as well be in the top three and fight for money. The loser goes home. Bye-bye. Let me say something. I've trained a lot of champions, and I've chased away a lot of imposters. And I'm wondering, which one are you? Let's get to work. Oscar, Lou, and Tommy, tell us right now we're going to go and train so that they can check out our skills. My name's David. I get it in the ring anymore because is that there isn't a lot of good weight. A black kid and a Mexican kid, they grew up in the ghettos. They grew up to fight their way out of poverty. They have to learn how to fight to survive on the streets. The white person doesn't. The white person grows up with a book in their hand. He grows up in school. Baby, you have a lot of writing here, man. Show everybody you want it. I will absolutely get every fighter's respect, including the respect of Oscar De La Hoya, and dare say that most of them will be scared of me. You know how to use your power? Use it. Work the body. My name is Arsenio Reyes. They call me R.C. And this is my little brother, Art, Art Reyes. That's my kickstand, you know, I can't walk without him. I box for two entities, which is myself and my family. The most important person in my life is my mother. I love her so much. You have no idea. I could be the best trainer under the sun, but I'm only as good as the athlete that I work with. Yeah. Yeah. 
Come on, R.C., are you listening to me? I told R.C., listen, man, you got to put your punches together. You're throwing up one shot at a time. You're the one that has to get this done. We're going to do it again and again and again till you get it done right. Okay, guys, great workout. Time for your first competition. Lou and Tommy, they tell us that we're going to have our first competition. God damn. They're not going to give us a chance to relax. This is serious. This is, this is for real. Go time pretty soon, right? Wonder what they got in store for us. <laughs> Trust with buttons and lights, and I'm thinking that it's going to be a tough one. Stephanie and all the other confidants are waiting. She helps push me, keeps me focused. Going into this challenge, I felt really confident, and I knew David could win because the 10 grand was totally motivating. PJ has been the, the main breadwinner, and it's going to be nice to be able to make some serious contributions. Okay, fellas, and this competition will take your overall body strength. And it's worth $10, a lot of money. If you win this competition, you'll be ranked as the number one prize fighter for the week. And for the rest of you, how you do in this competition will affect your overall rankings. Do yourself a favor, don't screw this up. Tommy? Guys, this competition is simple. You're gonna hang completely upside down and you're gonna do inverted sit-ups. The object is to hit the three targets Reset, do it over and over and over again. The guy who does it most times in 90 seconds is the winner of the competition. And remember, $10,000 is a stake. So do it, baby, do it. This might be hard, but I'm a competitor. I mean, here for one goal. There's $10,000 on the line, so I gotta win it. I thought RC was gonna do bad because we don't do that exercise. I was just thinking, I hope he's satisfied with what he does. The first competition it was a little tough. We were not expecting for Mike to be like hanging upside down. The purpose for the competition was basically to see how many crunches they could do upside down. I can hear my brother's voice. I know it hurts, baby. I know it hurts. Come on, come on. You can do it. You can do it. But they have no idea the type of agony that I'm going through. And I'm trying and trying and trying. My abs were killing me. Time, time. The number to beat is driven. 18. Good work. I thought about how much my family could use that $10,000 and. I just kept going. Go! Let's go, Come on, Dave! Light him up, Dave! You control your body! Let's do this, Dave! You control your body! I'm watching Dave. He was really banging him out. Up and down, banging him out. Let's go! Maria, 27. You are the new leader. I knew I had to just bite down and ignore the pain and the fatigue and, and go for it. I mean, we were talking $10,000. Go! Go! Let's go, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, guys. Come on, come on, guys. Hit that button. Hit that button. Come on, come on. Come on, come on. OK, gentlemen, I have your scores. Sienna, 27. Mint, 30. However, Jimmy, 20 out of the 30 sit-ups you did were assisted. They will not count. You have a score of 10. Paul, with 27 sit-ups, we have a tie. I was holding my knee with my gloves, so it ended up taking 20 points away from me. Just the fact that he cheated, that tells about his personality. You know, he wants to take shortcuts. And that's big, man, you know, a cheat. Gentlemen, we have a tie. Perea and Shana both scored 27. So it's a face-off. Let's get it on. Paul's a 
fierce competitor. So I knew that I had to bring everything to the table. And we were talking $10,000, and we are talking the number one spot, and a possible $25,000 if I get chosen to fight. It was a lot at stake, I wanted that. I knew it was gonna be tough. Go. Go. Going into the tiebreaker, I didn't care about pain, I sacrificed my body. I'm here to win. I'm not here for anything else but to win. Mr. Perea! Score is 25. Paul Shano. Score 24. <laughs> David Perea, congratulations. It felt incredible. Like, man, I've seen it happen. Now it's happening. And now the rest is just going to continue to fall into place. You're $10,000 richer, and you're ranked number one. <laughs> When David won the challenge, I honestly expected a lot more people to be more congratulatory than they were. Um, I just got a lot of kind of stares. I think they had wished that it was their boxer that had won, and I think also the $10,000 had a lot to do with it. The only thing that PJ says is there's so much at stake. And what does she mean, $10,000? She's after that. That's the only thing she cares about. We all need money, and we're all here because of it, but you don't have to keep saying it. Oscar, Tommy, and I are going to rank the rest of you now. Based upon your performance and training and the competition, we're going to go deliberate your faith. Remember, people, your ranking is everything. to the loft it's real exciting kind of like a like a summer camp or something except we're sleeping with the enemy they got bumps heads on it feel like we're in the army or prison what's in there is that yours me austin louis we're good buddies we grew up together down in miami and uh, we always had each other's back down there so you know we're gonna form a little bond mikey i've known him for years we boxed amateur together i got backup that's my backup right there anything go down i got my people I don't like the community showers. I don't like that there's not a jacuzzi or a hot tub. And I don't like that we don't have a TV. The kitchen's kind of small for 12 guys, but one by one, they'll get eliminated. I think we should rank them by a combination of things. The character, heart, punch and ability, the whole nine yards. Well, guys, Jimmy Mintz cheated in the challenge. What should we do with Jimmy? My kid is a good kid, and I give him the benefit of the doubt. Champ, I disagree. He's bullshit. This guy right here is perpetrating the fraud. I still think he's going to be a hell of a guy to beat. He deserves to be in the bottom ranking. RC, he didn't do too well on the challenge. He did poorly in the competition. Right. Look at this. This kid, he got some real issues. He looks worried. Worried right, right. <laughs> his character is questionable. R.C. sometimes questions his heart. Yes. Does he yeah. have it inside his mind to, to overcome all those obstacles? And Vallejo is like a pit bull. And he has good boxing skills. He's got some pretty good speed yeah. with and snapping his punches. Everybody's watching. Brene, he's a south or Freddie Bachman has the fire. He has the raw talent. He works hard, but uh, does he really want it? Um, Champ, let me say this. I think Otis Griffin is the dark horse of the whole tournament. This kid, he can punch, he can box. He got all the total package. What do you think, Lou? You're absolutely right. You're getting a good athlete there, and you're getting a good guy mentally up here that knows what it's all about. The truth for the rankings. Tommy? I mean. Okay, gentlemen, as you know, these rankings are crucial to your advancement. First three rated fighters are in the money. Last ranked boxer, you must fight. You lose, you're gone. As far as the rankings are concerned, if you're ranked the top three, you're fighting for 25 grand. 
If you're the last ranked guy, you gotta fight for survival for no money, just to continue. Number one is Mr. Perea. You won the competition today. I believe that overall I'm number one. I mean, I believe that I have far superior skills. I've been trained in a far superior manner and method of fighting than any of these fighters. He's just on a very high horse, and I'd like to be the one to take him out. You know, he just rubbed me the wrong way from the beginning. Son, help me out with number two. Number two is Mr. Griffin. Just because a guy is big, black, and ugly doesn't mean he can fight. Well, I can't even count the number of guys I've gotten in there that have way more street experience. I've grown up in the ghetto, and I've just destroyed completely in the ring. Number three, Mr. Vallejo. Now I'm in the money. Hopefully I'll get picked and knock somebody's head off and I'll get a nice check. You three gentlemen are in the money. One of you will be fighting the lowest ranked boxer. Let me open number four, Sean. Mr. Shana. We're all looking at the names, and I know what's going through everyone's mind. They're like, okay, when are they gonna call mine? Am I gonna be that 12th man? Mr. Bachman. Otis, I think I'm a lot more talented than him. And strength-wise, I think I'm way, way too strong. Mr. Zaragoza. Mr. Armo Moose. Mr. Corpse. Mr. Alonzo. When I saw Sean put my name in number 10, I was thinking I did better in the competition than some of these guys. Last two guys step forward. I think that Jimmy should rank last. He did cheat. That should have automatically made him last. I uh, see. I don't know who you think you are. You walk around here acting like you a bag of chips and all that. You're nothing. I got amateurs in my gym back at home that look better than you do. You need attitude adjustment. Jimmy, that stunt you pulled today in the competition. If it was up to me, you'd be on the first thing smoking out of here back to New Orleans. You're hard-headed. That tells me what you pull today, that you'll stoop to the lowest stunt, by like head-butting a man, elbowing a man. I hit the man in the But you're safe. You're the one to get the fight for survival. You'll have to fight one of the top three guys to fight for survival. Sean, give him their places. Let's get out of here, Lou. When I saw my name there last, I was so pissed off. I couldn't believe it. Being the last one, the one fighting for survival, I knew that I had to make a judgment call. And I'm thinking about removing myself from this because I thought it was a load of crap. I've trained a lot of champions, and I've chased away a lot of imposters. And I'm wondering, which one are you? I was already upset. I was already pissed off because I knew I was number 12 guy.